most important aspect of any meeting foliage is to separate them into different layers. In this example, the scene consists of several layers of plant stems and a single layer of background. Using layers not only makes the animation process easier, but also greatly improves the final result. The default pivot point for each layer is located at the center of the image. This is not ideal for any meeting foliage, as we want to rotate near the base of the stem. So, press Y to use the anchor point tool and drag the pivot point to the desired location. Next, we can add some randomness to the animation by using a script. To do this, we will first bring up the rotation property by pressing R and then alternate click on the stopwatch. In the dialog box that appears, type in the following script Vigil 0.5.10 In this example, we set frequency to 0.5 and amplitude to 10. Frequency determines how often the property will animate per second while amplitude is the maximum value the property will animate. Using smaller values for both frequency and amplitude can help simulate a wind blowing effect. Let's do this for all the stems in the scene. First, adjust the pivot point for all the images. Then, use Ctrl C to copy the rotation property from the layer that we set up the wiggle script earlier. Next, select all the stem layers and paste the rotation property by pressing Ctrl V. This is a result of applying the Vigor script to animate all the foliages. It looks pretty good now, but you can further enhance the animation by applying another filter. Go to Effect, Distort, and apply CC Bandit filter. Adjust the start and end options. The image will now bend smoothly when we adjust the bend option. Alternate click the bend option and animate it with a wiggle script. Again, using a small values for both frequency and amplitude to simulate wind blowing effect. Now, we can repeat the same step for all the pan stamps in the scene. Remember to reposition the plant layers to hide the crop areas. Let's look at how to animate tree leaves. In this example, I have separated the artwork into multiple layers as well. Some layers of leaf in front of the tree trunk, a layer for the tree trunk, and a layer of leaves behind everything else. Before animating the leaves, remember to adjust the pivot point of each layer. Next, press P to bring up the position property. Then, alternate click on the stopwatch and type in the wiggle script. As with the previous example, we will use the small values for both frequency and amplitude to simulate the effect of wind blowing on the leaves. Let's do this for all the leaf layers in the scene. Because all the leaves are in different positions, we can't simply copy and paste the position property to animate them all at once. So, let's just repeat the set manually. As we can see from the preview, the result looks ok overall. But something still doesn't look correct, as the individual leaves are still static. In theory, we can separate all the leaves into different layers, adjust their pivot point, then animate them with a wiggle script. But this doesn't seem to be an effective way to approach this. So what I usually do is, apply a turbulent displace effect to all the leaves layers, which gives the illusion of moving leaves. To achieve this, go to effect, Distort, Turbulent Displace. Adjust both the size and amount options to a smaller value. 
Size is the scale of the turbulent pattern, and amount is the distance of the displacement. We can animate the turbulent display effect by adding a script on the evolution option. Alternate click on the evolution option stopwatch and key in the following script times asterisk 400. Time is a reserve variable within After Effects that returns the current value of the timeline. And the asterisk sign is a multiplication symbol. In this case, we are multiplying the current time by a value of 400 which will make the animation 400 times faster. Let's copy and paste the turbulent displays filter to all the leaves layers. Although I'm using After Effects in this tutorial, but the method shown earlier can be applied with other software as well. In this example, I'm going to animate 2D leaves using Blender 3D. Before we start, go to Edit, Preference, Add-ons, and enable Import Images as Planes. With this add-on, we can quickly import Alpha PNG as 3D planes into the scene. Go to Add, Image, Images as Planes. By default, the pivot point is in the middle of the plane. To adjust it, press tab to enter edit mode and reposition the 3D plane. Alternatively, we can adjust the pivot point by changing the median value in the transform panel. Let's import all the images into the scene. Remember to adjust the offset planes option, so the image planes don't stack in the same position and cause rendering errors. Let's quickly set the pivot point for all the planes. To animate them, open the graph editor. Then select the image plane and press I to create a rotation keyframe. Select the rotation keyframe in the graph editor and add a noise modifier through the modifier step. Remember to add the modifier to the correct axis. In this case, I have to add the modifier to the Y Euler rotation for them to rotate in the right angle. Adjust the scale and strength value to simulate wind blowing. Scale determines the frequency of the noise modifier while strength control the amplitude. After that, we can click on this briefcase button to copy the modifier settings. Then we can paste the modifier to another plane by clicking on the button beside it. Let's do this for all the planes. We can also select multiple planes, press I to insert keyframe for all of them. Also try adjusting the offset option so all the layers do not rotate in sync. There are still many other helpful tips and tricks for animating foliage that I couldn't cover in this video. If you have any additional useful tips, please feel free to share them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing as we will greatly support the growth of my channel. Finally, I hope you found this video informative and that you learned something new. Until next time, take care.